Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah, back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is just my Q&A and my giveaway winner announcement. So the giveaway winner is, I'll leave the first place winner's name down below. They will win either an $80 gift card to Target or Amazon. They have already been contacted at this point, but you guys know, just like Frito-Lay, you cannot pick just one. So I picked a second place winner and they will win a $30 Amazon or Target gift card and I'll leave that person's name down below as well. Thank you guys so much for all who entered. Right now I'm standing closer to 11,000 than I am 10,000 so you guys are really fighting for me to do this 15k giveaway sometime soon and that will be done sometime soon. It'll be a gift card. I'm so unoriginal. That's how I am. But for the Q&A portion. I have my video pulled up right now and I'm just gonna scroll through my questions. I haven't seen any of them except for one. One of them I've already pre-seen, so I got a little chuckle out of that one. So let's get started in the Q&A portion. The first question that I got multiple times is what crochet hair am I wearing? I am wearing the Free Tress Beach Curl hair. As I'm recording this today, it is four weeks of wear with this hair. I have already wet this hair, gotten this hair wet, so this is what it looks like wet. I think it's beach friendly. I'm already giving you a little taste of what the review video will be like but free trust beach curl I really do and I really have enjoyed this hair so the next question is this is something I have asked my daughter where would you like to be in your life 10 years from now I still haven't gotten a response from my daughter yet um so I'm gonna answer since your daughter hasn't answered yet in my 10 years from now what do I see myself I'll be in my upper 30s personal wise I would love to have a family at that point I would love to have a husband children all that type of thing I would still want to stay I've always wanted to stay relatively close to my own personal family so I always kind of see myself in the 704 region I always thought that I would want to live somewhere else um, doing my 20s but clearly I'm in my 20s now and I haven't lived anywhere else and I always thought I would come back to Charlotte and live and grow up in Charlotte um, and now I'm looking like I might you know just ride it out here for the next few years until I meet that someone special and maybe we'll decide to move somewhere together but I think I'll stay here career wise I definitely want to be more advanced in my career I want to see myself as being if you guys know I work in recruiting um, I want to I want to have a full body of work in HR so I want to do compensation I want to know all about HR right now I'm very I've been part of HR and that's just been in the recruiting realm but I want to do more in terms of compensation benefits I know HR is boring I know people look at HR as like what why do you want to do that but I like it it's something I enjoy I'm a people person I love being around people HR you have to be interactive with people I love talking to you guys and I just want to be more more advanced in my HR career so yeah that is kind of where I see myself I definitely want to be more advanced in my career I want to have more exposure to HR I want to have a family I want to have kids I want to stay in Charlotte probably um, and I want to be debt free that's all I want to see in 10 years from now this was a question that I had seen um, and it, it chuckled me a little bit it was if you were trapped on a deserted island which crochet hair would you want I I thought about this hair question already I would love the and it's gonna be surprising to you guys the Janet collection Havana Mambo uh, crochet hair trapped on a deserted island I would get my hair done professionally first because that hair can last you up to eight weeks and not look ridiculous after eight weeks so I would probably get some faux lot hair it looks good and if I'm on a deserted place I think it gives me an islandy feel type of a thing so yes the Havana Mambo I love that hair so much next question is I do have to ask what is your favorite high-end and drugstore foundation for dry skin favorite drugstore foundation for dry skin is the uh, L'Oreal true match Lumi I love that foundation it is so hydrating um, the true match is a little bit more drying but the blue true match Lumi amazing for dry skin my favorite high-end I wouldn't even put it at the highest of ends for dry skin I'll say Mac face and body you guys know I love that foundation because I am more so of a sheer cover person too so it hits the mark of being perfect for dry skin as well as hitting the mark for being very hydrating I have okay pretty okay skin so I don't like to be beat all the time Mac face and body really does that for me another question what was the key in moving on from my accident um the key to it was at the time that I recorded my like after post accident video I hadn't been behind the wheel yet I was so I was very much so still had that pent up anxiety about it but 
well, I live in Charlotte. The the transportation system is pretty much you got to get in your car and go. You got to drive places, especially when when you live on the outskirts. So it was kind of the fact that I was like Talia, you kind of got to drive at this point. Um, so you have no choice to kind of get over it. So it was really about knowing that I had to get back behind the wheel, knowing that overall I was okay, knowing overall that I am a pretty good driver and the fact that I know how to now drive for other people on the road so knowing that I now need to be aware what are other people doing because you may be the safest driver out there but other people aren't they could react crazily so being re more reactive and being a more so defensive driver I haven't taken a defensive driving course but some of you guys suggested that and I think that's very important to do too because you need to know how to react now you guys if you guys can see I never show it on here because I don't really highlight it but I did have this scar this is my only remnant of the post crash scene I have these scars have healed but this scar from the airbag is not healed so I would just know how to react better in a situation going forward I feel like I feel safe on the road because I've been through it at least one time and I know what to look out for I know that when my hands are on the steering wheel and it happens move my hands back so I don't get burnt so this airbag because if you guys don't know already this came from the airbag the airbag came out and the force of it burned my a layer of skin off I think you guys really helped me out through the accident too. You guys' support was just phenomenal and you guys reaching out and checking on me every so often has been an amazing thing. So thank you guys so much for that and thank you guys so much for that question. This question, the first time you tried crochet hair, were you comfortable wearing them or did you wear a hat, scarf, or headband? I was so comfortable because the first time I had it done was the first time I ever paid somebody and the only time I ever paid somebody to do my hair. She wasn't a professional, but she did a phenomenal job and made it look so realistic that I didn't feel any fears about wearing it out in public. Um, sometimes I feel, you know, I still cover it up when the hair goes awry. You guys saw it in my model model hair. I was headbanding it up when it goes awry. But when I first install a crochet hair, any hair that I've installed, I always feel comfortable. And even from that very first time, I felt so comfortable. No hats required. I was ready to wear it out. The compliments were a flowing. Let your crochet hair fly free, honey. You will get the compliments. People will be like, yes, honey, you won't ever put that hat back on. The next question is, how do you feel about this new age dating? No actual dates or courting, no calling, text messaging, women working, and men not. Um, I always say I was born in the wrong era in terms of dating. I have such a old timey thought on dating that it's so hard for me to adjust. That's probably why I'm single now. It's so hard for me to adjust to how things are right now. I love being picked up. I love hanging out. I love talking on the phone. I used to be in high school or in my early days. I used to be a text person. I talked to one guy who was very old school and started calling and all that. And I was like, you know what? I do love calling. I love talking to you on the phone more than I do um, texting. So I think I don't adapt well in this new form of dating. I, I don't like it at all. I think it's kind of what we are in now. I think it's going to be harder for my children to date, their children to date, and so forth and so on, just because of how connected, how many options you have. So if you think about it, my parents, my grandparents in November will have been married for 50 years, which is amazing, which is incredible. We're taking them out to celebrate on a trip. And I'm so, like, I see that and that's what I want for my life. Of course, I want to be married for 50 years. Um, but it was so much easier for them. They didn't have these little devices where you could connect with every single female out there. You meet somebody through a friend of a friend and it, that was how you dated. That's how you met your soulmate and you were together forever because you ain't know nothing else. That's all you knew. I missed the knot. That's all you knew. I had to, people got too many options now. There's a such thing as having too many, too many options and I think that's what this new form of dating is. Um, I think it's difficult. It's, I'm still trying to figure out how you meet somebody because in high school it was easy. You go to high school with them. In college it was easy. You kind of met them at a party or you went to college with them. Post college a little bit those first two years it was easy because I would meet people at work and they would have friends of friends and they would introduce them to me. Now that I've been past all three of those stages I'm having a tough time so if you guys have met your soulmate in an unconventional way in the 20th century let me know how you met him. You guys asked me what makeup I had on in my video that I posted about my uh, giveaway my 10k giveaway at that's the same day I tested the Fenty Beauty line so that day I have on the Fenty foundation. Next question, what is my favorite wig? My favorite wig to date is the Friday Night Hair GLS 132. I love that hair. That was my most recent video that I posted. I just can't get over how natural that hairline is. That's my favorite hair. 
have have not noticed as many crochet videos are you not doing crochet hair anymore i'm still doing crochet hair i'm just trying to diversify my page and do some wig reviews one of my sisters asked me she's the smartest girl ever asked me how do you get the wig over the crochet hair and i'm like do people seriously think that I'm putting the wig over the crochet hair? You guys know I bulk film those things. I've had the crochet hair in for four weeks now, but you're still seeing crochet hair videos because I, I know how to do this thing. I know how to pre-record my videos, honey, weeks ahead and then post them like they're just yesterday. Um, so yeah, I'm still doing crochet hair things. I haven't taken a break from that at all. I took four weeks off right after I flat ironed my hair because my hair had been non-stop in crochet braids, not even a day off for 13 months. It needed some relaxation but as you guys can see i have crochet hair in and i'm gonna give you guys who watch this far in a little preview of what i'm gonna do next i'm gonna do the ocean wave i'm gonna do a straight hair i'm gonna do soft dread i'm about to get out here in this thing so you're about to see a lot of crochet hair videos coming up soon also where do i shop for clothes and what is my clothing style when i go to work my favorite store to shop at was the limited the limited went away um so five days out of the week i was usually wearing the limited i still have the limited clothes right now i'm wearing um, h m h m has some amazing business stuff too so if you are a young adult looking for places i think the limited was good um loft is good um as well as h m has a good business side i'm not so much a forever 21 girl sometimes you gotta know when the hang up the hanger for Forever 21 so I had to step away from that boohoo is really cute for nighttime stuff fashion Nova I'm a fashion Nova girl you know I mean I'm no shame in my game I love their jeans you can't deny the jeans um so yeah those are my favorite go-to and my style would be probably business casual for five days out of the week and then comfortable during the weekend what straight crochet hair are you considering trying the Outre Dominican Blowout, I think is what it's called. That's the hair. I already ordered it, so it's not considering. It's what I'm going to be wearing as soon as I take this hair out. So, Outre straight hair. Now, my camera just said it's about to go, uh, it's overheating right now. It's so hot outside that it said, nah, nah, I'm not going to play these games. So I'm going to answer one more question. And the last question is, would you ever stop working your full-time job if your YouTube career takes off and your income is enough simply from YouTube? And I would say, ah. Absolutely not. YouTube is too finicky. They play with the money too much. You don't make the same E from day to day. Just, it just It's all determined on whether you are going to be popular today or you're not going to be popular. If you don't make enough on YouTube, too many people take too many sponsorships. Like, I'll maybe do one sponsorship in the future in my career, but I don't want my whole channel to be based off a sponsor. Like, I have to have five sponsorships to make in meet each month. I don't want to become that person and that's not who I am. That's not who Leah LaVon is. So, I don't think I'll ever just make YouTube my full-time career it's fun I love doing it and it's about your career is about finding something you love doing but I don't know I don't think I would I just don't think I would um so yeah I hope I answered all you guys' questions I hope if you guys have any more questions for me leave them down below in comments and I'll answer them by typing it out this was so enjoyable I love doing these videos if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you doing hit that subscribe button if you're not following me on Instagram what are you doing follow me on Instagram at LeahLavon89 make sure you follow me on snapchat and miss Talia 89 and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching